Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from the Foot Market. I am back with a video today for you guys. We're probably going to have one video on the channel today, I believe. I'm not positive, but I think only one video today. Uh, we're going to be talking about Footmas, and today we got a lot of stuff on Footmas. So I know there's a lot going on. I know you guys are coming here today to know what's going on with these cards, everything that's happening. And for that, I will bring you guys that information. If you guys enjoy the upload slash uploads today, drop me a thumbs up uh, on the video. And we're going to get into it without further ado. A lot to talk about today. Uh... No icons, surprisingly, but a lot of stuff came out today. So we got three foot miss cards to start off with. The first one is Kovacic, and Kovacic right now is valued at uh, Kovacic right now is valued at seventy nine thousand coins on PS and eighty six thousand on PlayStation uh, on Xbox. He's high high work rates, five foot ten, four to four star, four star, which is really good. It's gonna be like more of a box to box midfielder that you would use, uh, in my opinion. So that's something that you got to keep in mind. He's like a not, not a mini Conte, but somewhere around that kind of realm of that's what he would offer for your team if you did go and pick him up 86 acceleration with 75 sprint speed 91 vision not 81 agility 86 balance 91 ball control 90 dribbling 90 short passing 85 long passing so a lot of good statistics here 84 stamina as well um aggression is all right the strength is not great and obviously the finishing is not great and i think if you look at statistically those are two of the statistics that are that are pretty important on a lot of players, I think aggression, strength is really important, and finishing is really important. So those are not the best, but he's a box box midfielder. He's going to cost you eighty thousand coins. Would I do this SBC? I don't think it's bad. I think if you're a Chelsea fan, you could do it. Um, eighty four rated, so I don't. I think some of the prem eighty three to eighty fives went up a little bit. If you have some, I will be listing for lazy buyers. A lot of them will be selling. I'm going to pass on this SBC today. I think you guys probably were better off doing Deli Ali. Pretty similar. Um, I think Delhi's more of a central midfielder like Kovacic is, so I think Delhi would have been a little bit better. But still, like not a bad foot miss card at all. Definitely, definitely support it. Um, other one we got to talk about is Rodrigo, uh, three star weak foot, La Liga striker. I mean, I like it. He's really good in FIFA. Uh, he is really good. Like his goal card in the beginning of the year when I was playing FIFA was always doing really well against me. So his goal card is very good. Um, would not expect this to be bad at all. This is probably a good card. Three star weak foot's not the best, but he's only right now about one hundred twenty three thousand coins, so it's not bad. Um, still for this value. I would probably look at a guy like Ben Yedder or something like that around that range instead of this. Uh, in my opinion, I think you could do better using or going for one of those kind of guys instead of this guy. But for this SPC, you need a, uh, let's see, an 85 rating, 85 chemistry, three Spanish players, three La Liga players, two Team of the Week players, and ultimate screen players. So I don't think screams went up a ton because I think this would, this would just rise the Team of the Weeks a little bit, uh, in my opinion, today. So 85's not really up a ton, I don't think. Maybe up a little. I think some of the Spanish 85's are doing a, a little a little well there. Um in my opinion, I think I think they're doing pretty well there. So I think some of those Spanish 85s are doing pretty well. Uh, and that might be going up. Would I recommend that today? I would not. And the next one is very good. Arias came out. I already completed him. Uh, as you guys know, if you were following my live stream or if you've just been following along, Arias is probably one of the best valued cards that you guys can get, uh, in my opinion, right now. I think he's such a good value card. Um, I think you guys totally should go get him if you haven't already. Um, and that's something that I think he's about 15,000 coins right now. And he's like extremely comparable with a lot of different players. And one thing I wanted to compare him with is Juanfran. And for 15,000 coins, you're getting a card that's very good and very similar to Flashback Juanfran. Now, Flashback Juanfran has a lot better defensive stats than Arias, but Arias is close and he's almost there in terms of defensive statistics. So I think you should look at Arias. I don't know. For me, I think Arias is something that does interest me as a player. I think you got to go get him. If you haven't already, I would go get him. If I were you guys, I definitely would go uh, purchase him. I, or do his SBC. I think it's something that in a La Liga team, he's great. I think he, you get a weak link to Davis and Sanchez and a, uh, Atletico Madrid link does not hurt in this FIFA. He's got 94 stamina as a standout stat uh, and his acceleration is significantly better than Juan Fran. So while Juan Fran does have some better defending stats than him, he's got better balance and better acceleration, which I can appreciate as a card. So I would go get Arias. That's one I would totally recommend today. Also, you're going to see most likely during the week or now and starting after this video and just in general, uh, you guys will probably start to see some of these silvers rise up. EA said, win nine online single matches using only silver players that earn Kazorla. And they gave Kazorla a massive upgrade. Kazorla's boost is crazy. Like, I haven't even seen this much of a boost. They gave him, I think it was plus 13 pace compared to his normal card. And he's actually not a bad card. So I think, I don't, I already looked on Reddit and somebody saw, was looking if you could sub in players off the bench. You cannot. Uh, you can't sub in players to go get him, so you can't sub in like Neymar. So when you go into that online single match, all you're going to be playing against is other silver teams this week, which is actually a nice thing. And it's very good that EA have gone out of their way to make sure that like you can't, I don't know, you can't be annoying and just like go crazy with subbing in. Like last week, like when I was doing the MLS thing for Martinez, six online single matches, I was subbing in all these players. So that's what's going on there. And then 
EA dropped the bomb, and they released a ton of cards today. Uh, they released more uh, Road to the Final cards and more Europa League cards. So we now have a bunch of new live items in foot. I'm going to do more of another video on these cards because I want to talk specifically about them and then moving forward. And I'm going to do a UCL Live Update completely video probably later tonight or tomorrow for you guys. But basically, we've got some crazy, crazy cards today that came out. And a lot of them had previous informs. So these guys were really low early on and now they're up in price. So a lot of people are starting to buy into them. What I will tell you is that there's a lot of supply on these cards. So for me, these cards have a lot of supply. Um, and and for me, that's that's not surprising, but it seems like the pack weight in these cards is really good. They've already made a ton of price range updates. Um, Suarez is now 1886. This card was, I want to say Suarez was like 1.5 and then he went up to like 2.7 or something. His price range went up to 3 mil. So these cards have been selling at kind of just crazy prices all day. Uh, and it's a little confusing. Uh, it doesn't really make that much sense, but yeah, I mean, these cards have been selling at pretty crazy prices all day. They're new cards. Um, Champions League isn't for like two months from now, but there is a significance with a lot of these cards like Kondogbia, Ben Yedder, uh, Aurier. Aurier got a fantastic, fantastic card today. A lot of these cards did receive massive upgrades that make them valuable in FIFA, um, which is something that I'm looking at as interesting uh, for sure. It is something that is very, very, very interesting that all these guys got really, really big upgrades. Um, and so I'm looking at them right now when I'm looking on the market as these are actual, not, not, not really cards you're buying into because of the ones to watch or investing. You're actually looking into buying these cards because they're actually really good upgraded cards. If you guys get what I'm saying. So a lot of these cards that have been added today have been super, super interesting. Um, and we're going to have to look at them long-term in terms of the market today, not really any high rated or anything like that went up much. Um, what I did was I had picked up in the panic today, a bunch of Ben Yedder informs at 140,000 and then I also picked up uh, and I think those are up now because his new one is really expensive So these have slowly gone up. They've slowly the panic has slowly worn off. I bought a Van Dyke for 399 uh, In the panic which is good and then I bought a Van Dyke 337 So I got an opportunity today to really go and buy some of these cards when people are panic selling because Obviously some of these newer cards you guys know they have previous cards, right? So people go and sell those cards because they feel like they can go get these new cards But really then they go check out the new card and they're like wow I can't afford this card and that's kind of how those cards work So Suarez is really overpriced right now by the way So today as well a lot of people including myself are expecting a new icon and we didn't get one So I think that's something as well that I'm looking at and saying okay That makes things interesting, right? We didn't get a new icon today, which for me tells me there's a big possibility a very big possibility that the icon will come tomorrow and I think EA was using today to maybe let some of the gold higher rated cards go die down in price a little bit is my best guess at why that happened today. What I would do if I were you guys is I would totally take a look late tonight. This is going to be my tip for you guys heading into tomorrow if you guys do want to make some coins. Um, my tip is that watch some of these high rated Navas, uh, Bonucci, any of these kind of players, I would really look to stock in your club. I would see if they do drop tonight, David Silva. Uh, Godin, any of these kind of players, there's one icon left that EA is going to drop. And I'm assuming it's going to be a bigger one. Balak was the first, and then the last one's probably going to be a banger. So I'm assuming that they'll bring out a pretty good one, and one that's more than 1.5 million coins. So I would expect that high rated will go up more. Every time an icon has come out, whether it's been Roy Keane, Roy Costa, any of these players, the high rated have shot up. So I would expect that anything that's like a decent usable icon will get the market to go up in that value. So see late tonight, if it does drop down, would totally look into it. Definitely interested in that. Um, because right now you really have no SBC outside Rodrigo requiring 85s. That's really going to keep a lot of these up outside of the icons that we have right now. What I'm saying is we didn't get anything today making the cards going higher than they were yesterday. And I think EA saw that. So I think EA doesn't want them to explode. So I would expect that you are going to get another icon tomorrow. Um, so in terms of footmas today, guys, I would pass on probably all but Kovacic, and uh, Arias is a must do. If you guys are watching the video, you guys have to do Arias. I'm going to make you guys do Arias. Um, and so, yeah, that's probably what I would do with Footmas today. You guys tomorrow should expect potentially a Team League SBC slash maybe a live SBC. I don't expect one for the new lives. Maybe, I think a new icon tomorrow for sure. And other than that, I would expect just probably some more packs. These are in packs for 10 days. So you guys know watching the video, these are in packs for 10 days. So that's probably what I would expect tomorrow. Um, thank you guys for tuning in today. It's going to be day eight of the Footmas review. I hope you guys... Are enjoying the channel content and all that kind of stuff um you guys are honestly the best appreciate everybody watching and i'll see you guys in the video soon peace out